Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kuhub here. Welcome to Bitcoin for Beginners Part 6. Today I will be showing you how to verify your Sparrow wallet. So verification is very important to make sure your software is legit and not compromised by hackers and scammers. Remember, in Bitcoin, you do not trust, you verify. So if you have not verified your software, you are trusting that it is not compromised, which is a risk you do not need to take and should not be taking, especially when it comes to holding Bitcoin. So I will be showing you how to verify Sparrow on Windows OS, as that's what I currently use. The first thing you will need to do is download GPG for Win and verify that download. So I will link the websites down in the description and you'll want to go to www.gpgforwin.org and click the big green button of the download GPG for Win, which you can see right here. And when you click on this, it will ask for a donation, but you can click the custom amount and put $0 to get it for free, as you can see right here. And then you will click the blue button below that says download. This will download the file and bring you to the next step page, which if you click uh, check integrity right here, uh, it will bring you to the SHA-256 checksums of the GPG for win download file to verify it's not compromised. At this point, you will want to open up your CMD or terminal. With Windows, you can usually type in CMD and it should pop up or cmd.exe. This is the command line. Now, uh, you will want to change the directory to where the gpg 4 win file is downloaded. You can do this by typing cd uh, and then a space, cd space, and then copy and paste the location it was installed to. And um, once you've changed the directories in the CMD, you can then verify the download uh, by typing in, uh, well, one second before I get to telling you that. Let me show you an example actually real quick of what I mean of changing the directory to make sure you have it at the right spot. So let me go over here and change this really quick. Basically, you would uh, copy the location like this, and that would be the location right here. So there are many different examples of this. Let me give another example. Okay, this one sh I should be able to show you. I'm just not trying to show any personal information. But basically, over here, you can see this is what it looks like right here, up here. Click this, click Control C to copy it, and then you can type uh, CD and then paste that in and then enter and then it'll change it to that directory. So wherever the download of the GPG for win is downloaded to, make sure it's at that location. So, okay, that's an example. So anyways, once you have done that, uh, you can then verify the download by typing in cert util dash hash file space and then the exact uh, name of it. So let me get to that file really quick and then I'll show you what it should look like. Okay, so let me paste it in. As you can see, I have the .exe, the full name, including what the dot and then whatever's after that. So not just the name itself, but the extension. Um, and then once you have it entered like this, you would then do it in space and then do SHA-256. And this is what then you get. So you can see the output right here, the string of letters and numbers. So now once you have this, what you want to do is um, go back to the website to verify that the numbers match. And once you have done that, you can then move to verifying Spare Wallet. But here's an example of the check integrity on the website right here. You would scroll down to the SHA-256 checksums. You would look at the .exe right here, and you would look to see if they match. And that's 2db44b086, 2db44b086, um, and so they match. And you can look at the ending as well to confirm at the end, B05, BC, 3B. And you can see that over here as well. So they do match. So that's good. And then um, after that, uh, as I said, you can move to verifying Sparrow. So you've downloaded GPG for win. Oh, and by the way, uh, run the program of GPG for win as well and get that going to make sure you actually install it because you verified the download and now you can install it. So forgot to mention that. So yeah, uh, once it's verified and they match, it's not compromised, then install GPG for win and you're good. Okay, now we're going to move to verifying Sparrow Wallet. Now that you have that installed as that's required. Okay, the first thing you want to do is import the keys that have signed the release by copying and pasting uh, this right here. Copy that and, and copy and paste it into your CMD uh, terminal. 
So I'll do that right here, paste, and I'll just do it in the same location I was in where I installed GPG for Win. And you can see it, it then shows this. Uh, yours might look a little different, maybe not, but um, anyways, this is what it will do. And then after that, uh, you will download Spare Wallet if you haven't already. And if you have, though, you can still verify your current release by doing this. But um, I would recommend downloading that .exe file of Sparrow if you don't have it yet. The other two files you will need to verify your Sparrow download will be the manifest signature and the manifest. So right here uh, for mine would be uh, Windows Installer.exe right here, 1.8.5.exe, as well as the manifest signature down here and the manifest. Okay. So once you have those three or two files or whatever downloaded, uh, make sure they're all in uh, downloaded into the same folder. And once you have done this, you will go into your CMD and change the directory to point towards the folder you have downloaded the files to. So if it, you download it to the same folder as where you have installed the GPG for Win, then just keep it in that directory where you're already at. Uh, so, but yeah, you would want to copy the path location and in your CMD type CD and then paste your folder path to change it to that folder as you did initially in the first time. But uh, the next step is to type gpg dash dash ver uh, verify and then here I'll just show you. But anyways, this is what you would want to type after you have downloaded the manifest signature and manifest and the download. But uh, you'd want to type gpg dash dash verify sparrow dash 1.8.5 dash manifest dot txt dot asc and then you'll get um, an answer and that it'll give you that. Once you have that information, once it uh, goes through successfully, you can read down here on Sparrow Wallet as well. It'll say you should see the following if the verification was successful. And then uh, it says note that you may get a message similar to the following. This key is not certified with a trusted signature. There is no indication that the signature belongs to the owner, which is fine. Don't worry about that. All right. So, um, now, after you've got that done, the final step is to type cert util dash hat, or I'll just show you real quick, but you'll want to type this into your CMD. Uh, on a Windows, it says right here, this is what you'll want to type. So we'll paste this in, cert util dash hash file sparrow dash 1.8.5.exe, and make sure it's the exact, capitalization does matter, make sure it's the exact thing. Uh, um, so if mine is let me make sure what i have installed is the correct thing because this shows yeah so my sparrow right here is capitalized because my download shows it capitalized uh but in this example you can see oh yeah okay it's capitalized here as well okay so make sure you have the correct um capitalization capitalization and all that okay so yeah you would enter this in enter it You'll get this output of strings and letters of numbers and letters or string of numbers and letters and then you want to compare that result to the appropriate value in the manifest.txt that you downloaded so go to where you downloaded that and then you want to open that up which i have right here you can see that's the txt manifest and then you'll look for the sparrow.1.8.5.exe uh, which is right here so you want to make sure it cop, uh, looks the exact same as this in your CMD. So let me get that back open. So you can see right here, it's 435648, 43, oh, I meant F, not 5, sorry, <laughs> but F648. So it's the same there. You can look near the N and uh, to really confirm, you can look at every single uh, letter and number. But you can also, I mean, I usually confirm just by the first five and last five, but um, I think there has been some type of... Uh, hacks or something that can somehow uh, replicate the beginning and end. So you want to really make sure. But um, yeah, so then the end, I can see B3A9017, B3A9017. So this is the exact same. So uh, because these match up, that means the download is legit. And I have now verified my Sparrow and they match up. So uh, I know that my download is not compromised and now I can uh, launch um, the sparrow.exe and get sparrow running and uh, safely running now and everything so um, but yeah if they match like I just showed then congratulations you have successfully verified your sparrow wallet to make sure it's not compromised and it's safe to use so thank you for watching if you have any questions you can leave them down below in the comment section I'll get back to you as soon as I can and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more future content like this and I'll see you all in the next one